Hi Sean, how are Hi, you? Fantastic. That's good. Thanks for joining us in the um, Chef Masterclass's kitchen today. Great to be here. Now, I'm yet to learn a lot about seafood mm -hmm. and particularly one of my favourites is smoked salmon. And I had no idea that you can actually buy a huge side of smoked salmon. I've only ever seen it sliced sure. already in the supermarket. Yeah. So why, why and how would you ever need to buy this? Okay, so this is obviously, it's a catering pack, but uh, more and more uh, this type of product is coming on to the supermarket shelves. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's a reason for it. People are, uh, are wanting to try you know, different things, and and also, um, you know, Australia produces some of the best um, salmon products in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, the southern waters of uh, Tasmania. Uh, it's the perfect conditions for farming salmon. Yeah. And uh, you know, it'd be madness for us to you know, look overseas to uh, imported products when we've got such a great product. And here. is it sustainable? Absolutely, absolutely. Mm. Salmon's actually, it's one of the, um, it's, it's one of the uh, fastest growing farm fish. So, you know, right. for one kilo of salmon, uh, it takes about 1.4 to 1.6 kilos of feed to get it to that Gosh, level. So that's, that's a lot. Compare that with, say, um, farm tuna, yeah. uh, it's six to seven times. So it, it's, it's um, the yield is quite mm. good. And, uh, you know, the, the, um, the farming practices that they've got down in Tasmania now, uh, you know, they're cutting edge and they're, they're, um, they're producing wonderful products. Mm. All right, so for this particular product, today we're using it for um, our dish Three Tastes of the Sea, which has three different types of seafood on it. Very simple, um, with your standard smoked salmon that's sliced, I wanted to get a little bit away from that, have something that's a bit different. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we've got a whole fillet. Basically what we need to do is, first up, we'll just um, take off the skin. Now I'm taking, that's a sharp knife. Extremely sharp. This is the only type of knives that you should see in the kitchen. <laughs> well, I better not come to my kitchen then. So generally the, um, the skin will just peel off. You start at one end. Because I've always thought smoked salmon was quite um, delicate and would tear quite easily. It seems to be not as firm as I think you'll find raw. with with because it's a whole fillet as well and um, you know, it, it, it's it's holding its structure together yeah. you know, quite well. Um, also, you know, cold smoked salmon. It's essentially uh, a raw a raw fish, yeah. a raw fillet, and uh, you know, cold smoking over a, over the period of time, it doesn't really play too much havoc with its um, with its uh, with the, the protein mm -hmm. structure. So today, all we're going to do is is basically trim off the edges, and you can use this. Like in the restaurant, we'll use use the um, the trimmings and we'll put them in a pasta or we'll make a mm. an amus bouche. We might serve it with some crostini. Mm. You know, nothing goes to waste. The mm. only thing that we'll throw in the bin will be the skin. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, if you wanted to eat that, I could probably find a way to, to cook that up as well. So I'm just running the knife down, nice even sizes. In the restaurant, um, one of my um, pet hates is inconsistency. We measure up one piece. So from the restaurant, we'd be doing this for say 50, 50 portions, up to 100 portions, up to 300 portions. So we'll cut one. I can't even fathom cooking for 300 people in one hit. <laughs> and basically, we measure up. Okay, that's where we want to be. So for our assiette, that's going to be one portion. Right. So you can see the difference, you know, uh, you can really uh, see the textures in the, in the fish, mm. uh, even mouthfeel, mm. the difference between that for example, and, and a sliced, mm. a thinly sliced piece of salmon that you might, you know, see on a breakfast buffet mm. or have have on a, on a bagel. Um, you know, you, you're cutting slices up. It's a different mouthfeel. And, and what about um, the skinny tail part? That's obviously a lot thinner. Yeah. Than how do you work that out? Well, with with the with the tail, obviously because it's thinner, it takes on a bit more of the smoke, mm. and um, it also dries out it's a little. A slightly bit more yeah. dark orange. It, it'll dry out a little bit more as well. Mm. And that really depends on personal taste. Mm. It's probably a little bit more salty because it's it's taken on a bit more of the the, the smoke as well. Yeah. One other thing to keep in mind as well is that um, once we've taken the skin off, that there is a bloodline. Okay. And. Uh, that's just dark. Yeah, that's yeah. the dark, darker meat there, and uh, every fish has it. Mm. Some are more pronounced than others. Uh, you can see on that piece that you've mm. got there, it's it's not very pronounced, so you could probably get away with not removing it. Yeah. But um, 
you know. Does it, it taste like anything? Well, you know, it's for me, it's not pleasant, and, yeah. and um, but other people, you know, Don't it, mind it's it. six of one, half a dozen of the other. I, I would in the restaurant, I remove it because okay. I want to have uh, uniformity. I want nice, clean flavors yep. uh, at home. It's up to you. And can you reuse that? No, no. I, I would, I would, I would toss it, and and literally, you know, it's just. This is where uh, you need a little bit of uh, skill with a knife, cutting it very thinly. So, so you're literally just taking that off. Yeah, you know, once again, it's it's subjective because, you know, there's a lot of um, scientific evidence that the most vitamins that you'll actually and, and, and uh, nutrition that comes out of the mm. out of the fish is in that. So you're cutting right. it off. But you know, to be honest. Chewing on a bit of bloodline for me is not, no. it's not gonna, really going to make my day. <laughs> and are there any bones in this? That was the other question I meant to ask. There, are, there are little um, pin bones. Most of them um, are removed uh, in, the, in the factory. Yeah. Uh, if you do find the odd one, then... So you just would just feel for it by doing that? Yeah, look, you can even see in here. I'll just use a knife to show you. You can just see there, there's a couple of little tiny bones coming through. Uh -huh. Now they're... Very minor. In fact, if you ate those, you would hardly, you wouldn't even notice that they're there. Right. They'll just dissolve in, in your mouth. But on the flip side of that, if you wanted to remove them, yeah, because I'm uh, not a fan of bones. The easiest way to do it, and they do come out fairly, fairly easily. The easiest way to do it: a pair of tweezers. Yeah. And um, and just and you know pluck them out. Yeah. In a, a fresh uh, fillet of salmon yeah. that we're say going to do on the grill, yeah. we would absolutely remove them. Well, I can't wait to go and um, step aside and let you work your magic and make your three tastes of the sea dish, which I'm going to have three tastes at least <laughs> of when it's finished. Fantastic. Let's <laughs> so get thanks, into Sean. It. Wonderful. <laughs>